Okay, you can uh, see that uh, I'm from the outside of my uh, tube that uh, my I got slopped epoxy everywhere and it's kind of running down because I had it this way. And you can see this dark line right here. That's my fillet on the inside, which is good. You know, it may look ugly, but it's all on the inside. So don't worry about it. Um, I had to mix up some more epoxy and I found that um, the, the more viscous or, or liquid the epoxy is, the easier it is to get into all those places. Um, so now my final step is to put on my centering ring and we're gonna bond that into place as well. Uh, so it's, it's only gonna go in as deep as the weld nut there on the inside. So just get it um, so that it's even all the way around and you can see it, which is a nice thing. I'm just trying to get it nice and evened up just by pulling on my strings. Close enough is going to be good enough. Um, and then I can cut the string and remove it and then put that final epoxy fillet on the outside. So let's see if I can undo my knot. That knot is pretty tight. So I'm just going to cut the string. Cut it in two places. Okay, so at this point, that, that ring is not coming out. And I'm just going to pour a little epoxy in and just let it. You can see this is pretty liquid stuff. So I'm just going to pour it in and then just let gravity do its thing and just pull it all the way around. And I also need to get it on the tube and you can see I'm getting it inside the tube and I have to wipe that off because that's not going to be good. And it's also filling up these little holes, which is fine. I'm going to fill those anyway. I have a lot of napkins available to clean things up. And if you're planning on using a retainer, make sure um, you wipe uh, all that epoxy off because you don't want it to uh, get beefed up where you can't um, slide the retainer on easily. All right, so I've got a good fillet everywhere. So now it's just gonna be cleaning up any excess epoxy that I don't want in there. And again, rubbing alcohol works really good for cleaning up epoxy. It's on the inside of my tube and it's on the outside. Okay. So I'm going to stand it up like this until the epoxy cures um, so that anything will run down and it will stop right there at that uh, bulkhead. All right, so I'll let it cure and then the next time we'll start building on the front end of the rocket.